Hi everybody, it's Nicole from Tailored Realty Inc. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Thank you for popping by. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you for tuning in again. Now, today we're going to be talking about the four mistakes people make when buying a home. There's way more than four mistakes, but we're going to touch on four of them. Mistake number one, not preparing for hidden cost. Now, what I would suggest is you go over with your mortgage broker and your realtor and kind of get an idea of how much you're gonna have to pay for the property that you would like because every property whether it's valued at a million dollars or valued at five hundred thousand dollars it has costs to go with it now whether you're a first-time home buyer or you've bought before pay attention to the cost obvious of course but sometimes not so obvious so what you need to do is you need to factor in things like home inspections, mortgage costs, so if you have a broker and you have to pay the broker, lawyer fees, land transfer tax, maybe you have to pay more down payment because your house costs more than you expected. There's costs that I'm not really supposed to speak on because it's not my lane and it has more to do with financing, but I'm going to just tell you, be careful of all the costs that can come up and make sure that you always read the fine print when it comes to any agreements, contracts, especially when it comes to the mortgage side of things, that you know what you're signing up for. I would suggest that you set aside a budget and say, this is what I can afford. And make sure when you're speaking to your mortgage broker and your realtor that you make that clear so that way there's no discrepancies and there's no misunderstandings into what you can afford. Not to mention, if you wanna do any renovations to the place in order for you to feel comfortable as you move in, then make sure you factor in those costs so you know, okay, I wanna do the counters. I want to take out these hideous carpets. I want to do the flooring. I want to do the walls. I want to paint so my room isn't green. Factor in those costs and make sure that you know everything that's going on. And that way there's no surprises and you're prepared. Mistake number two. Not researching on your area. This is a mistake that's often made, believe it or not. Committing to a neighborhood is a big deal. You're committing to the people there, you're committing to the amenities nearby, you're committing to the commute from your work to your home. If you work from home, God bless. But if you don't, then you need to factor that in. Do you wanna to move to the suburbs? Are you expanding your family? Do you wanna live near the desired school for your children? Factor all of that stuff in, I would suggest Take a drive around the neighborhood, see what's there, make sure that this is somewhere that you want to live. Mistake number three, making a competitive offer. Now, this can go both ways. So let me touch on the first way. You can overpay for a property, which is no good. Don't base your decision on emotions and not fact, unless there's something to that property that is valuable to you if there's a school that you would love your child to go to or if your mother lives down the street and you really want that property and it's the only one that popped up on the market for now then maybe you'll overpay for that but just because you love a property does not mean you should immediately overpay for it i mean as i said if there's some secret value there for you and it tugs on your emotional heartstrings, okay, but please check the comparables because if shit hits the fan and you gotta sell, did you wanna lose? Do you wanna be in the red or do you wanna be in the green? Right? So think about that before you place an offer. I have a horrible story. I made that mistake and I'll never make that mistake again. I overpaid for a property that I was actually flipping and it was, I call it the house of Chucky. It was the worst mistake of my life, real estate wise. And I don't know how I got out unscathed. Luckily I got out without losing money. <laughs> that ended up being a unicorn. 
honestly. So what I'm going to tell you is that make sure you check the comparables. Make you should have a home inspector in there making sure that what you have to do to the house is not unreasonable in normal things that you have to fix up when you move to a house. Make sure that you're not going to have to do the whole electrical all over again because no, it's not worth it. You're going to pay so much money. No. Make sure that there's no mold. Make sure that there's no leaks. But yeah, make sure that everything is on the up and up and you'll be fine. And your realtor will help you with that. If you have a good realtor, they'll make sure that you're taken care of. And that's why it's important to use a realtor in transactions because they're the professionals. Use a realtor when buying your house so they can give you the information that you need to be informed to make the right decision. Now the fourth is not knowing all of the incentives that the government offers to first time home buyers. The home buyers tax credit, the GST HST new housing rebate, the first time home buyers plan, and the home buyers incentive. Number one, home buyers tax credit. Number two, GST HST housing rebate. Number three, first time home buyers plan. And number four, home buyers incentive. First time home buying should be a fun process. It's exhilarating. You should be proud of yourself. You're part of the homeowners club. Now, if you ever need any help with your real estate, whether you're buying or selling, or if you want an investment opportunity, we would love to work with you. Please call our number below. Even if it's just to ask a question, please visit our website. We have a vow system where you get 100% of listings on the MLS. Thank you for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe button below, hit the notification. We do weekly vlogs on anything surrounding the real estate industry. Please like and comment. Last video, you guys are giving me a lot of jokes. So thank you again and we will see you in the next video. Bye.